Oh, uh, hey guys, uh, I'm Nelly, and today I'm a cheerleader. I love talking about my favorite teams and my favorite people. I love making up cheers. Oh, hey, I've got an idea. I'll make up a cheer about Miss Brittany, and then when she comes up to tell the story, we can do it for her. Okay? Uh, I got it. Okay. She's so awesome, she's so cool, like the water in a pool. Now it's time for her to say what the story is today. Go, Brittany! Okay, guys, now you guys stand up and clap along when she comes. Oh, here she is, here she is, she's here! <laughs> uh, hi, everyone. Kids, why are you standing up? All right, ready? Let's clap along. Here we go. She's so awesome, she's so cool, like the water in a pool. Now it's time for her to say what the story is today. Go, uh, Brittany! Oh, that was so nice of you guys. It's awesome to talk about people you love. That's even what our story's about today. You guys can have a seat now. Thank you. I got our story from this book. Do you guys know what this book is called? The Bible. That's right, it's the Bible. And if it's in the Bible, then we know it's true. true. Oh, oh, Miss Brittany, Miss Brittany. Oh, what is it, Nellie? Oh, can I help with this story? Please, please, please. Of course. Okay, so this story starts with Jesus and his friends, the disciples. They were in a place where people worshiped pretend gods. Wait, hold on just a second. Just like this plastic toy? Yeah, pretty much. But they also had heard about Jesus and were talking about him. Everyone wanted to know who he was. You see, God had promised a long time ago that he was going to send someone very special, someone to be everyone's best friend forever. Oh, I know, I know, I know who it is. Well, don't give it away yet. So Jesus asked his disciples what people were saying, who they thought that person was. Ooh, they thought it was someone like John the Baptist or Elijah or Jeremiah. But those were all important people in the Bible. That's right, but that's not the right answer, was it? Nope. Then Jesus asked who the disciples thought he was, and one disciple spoke up. He said, Jesus, Jesus is the one true God sent to be everyone's friend forever. That's right, the disciple was Peter. You see, the disciples had been hanging out with Jesus and had seen the miracles he'd done and heard what he taught about God. Peter knew that Jesus was the one God sent to be everyone's best friend forever. And it teaches us something really important we can practice. Wait, what is that? We can talk about God and his son, Jesus. Everyone, point to your mouth. We can have conversations about Jesus with our friends and with people who don't know that Jesus wants to be their friend forever. Just like Nellie used her mouth to cheer for me, we can use our mouths to cheer for Jesus. We can practice living for God by talking about Jesus. Now tell me, who can practice living for God? I, I can, can practice, practice living, living for God. God. That's right. Okay, friends, let's close our eyes and bow our heads and pray to God. Dear God, thank you so much for sending Jesus to be our best friend forever. Help us to tell everyone everywhere about you and about your son, Jesus. We love you. It all God's children said, Amen. Oh, uh, hey, Miss Brittany, listen to this cheer. Oh, and repeat after me. Okay. God made me. God made me. And he loves me. And he loves me. And he wants to be. And he wants to be. My friend. My friend. That sounds a lot like a song I've heard before, but I still love it. See you kids next time. Bye. Bye. Training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. 1 Timothy 4.8